Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminolly, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today I'm going to talk about a new project uh, I'm going to be doing on the channel or I'm going to finish reading Stephen King. So if you watched yesterday's video on the channel, you'll know that I did a review of Billy Summers by Stephen King and really, really enjoyed it. It's the first Stephen King book I've read for a while that I've really liked. So the, the last three that I read before this, all of which I think I read in the last year or so, um, were Doctor Sleep, uh, Elevation and The Institute, none of which I thought were that great. But Billy Summers I really enjoyed and it really reminded me what I like about King, the, the stuff that I think he does really well. Um, so yeah, I hinted in that video um, that I was going to start a new project uh, to, to fill in the gaps that I've got in my reading of King's books. So I've been reading King since I was a teenager. I've read the vast majority of his books, but there are a few, particularly from the late 90s and early 2000s, that I haven't read. Um, and I've decided um, it will be an interesting project to finish reading uh, his books, so to get completely up to date with him. I've read all of his short story collections. I haven't read any of his non-fiction and I'm not going to worry about um, his non-fiction for this. I'm just worrying about uh, fiction. Um, so yes, I don't need to read any short story collections, but I do have a bunch of novels um, by him that I need to read. Now, the nice thing is I've got all but three of them. I've actually got <laughs> physical copies of already. Um, so I've got them in here in front of me. I, I showed them briefly the intro. Um, I will go through them. Uh, and talk a little bit about each one but the the purpose of this project is to get myself as I say up to date with his fiction because um, he is if not my favorite writer then certainly one of my favorite writers and I've had this very very long you know decades long relationship with his work I've been reading him um, you know I've read him throughout my entire adult life and you know through through my time as a teenager as well um so he's an author I really like, and given that I've got most of the books anyway, it feels sensible to try and finish reading him. And he's got a book coming out um, in, I can't remember when it comes out, September, October time, um, Holly, his new novel about his character, Holly Gibney, which I'm really looking forward to. So I don't expect that I'll get through all of these by the time Holly comes out, um, but I'll definitely be getting Holly when it comes out and reading that. Um, so anyway, these are the ones I've got, and these are, I think, in chronological order of publication. So the first book of his that I haven't read is this one, Bag of Bones. I'm pretty sure I bought this hardcover copy of it when it came out um, and just haven't got round to reading it. Um, it's a bit kind of stained uh, by time. So when did it come out? I think this is one of the late 90s ones, isn't it? Yeah, 1998. And I definitely started it, but I just didn't get on with it at the time. Um, I think it's a bit more of a thoughtful, thoughtful, atmospheric uh, kind of a one for him. So I will give this a try uh, and see what I think of it. Um, next up chronologically then is Black House, which he wrote with Peter Straub. So I've read um, The Talisman, which is the, the prequel to this, a couple of times actually. Um, I read it not long after it came out and I read it more recently. I was doing one of those, there's, there's things you can do where you read the Dark Tower books, but you read all the related books as well. And The Talisman has got some kind of crossovers with the Dark Tower. So as part of that project, which I set myself to do about 10 years ago, um, I did reread The Talisman and, and had a good time with it. I didn't complete that project, as you'll see as we go through here, because three of the books I need to read, actually four of the books I need to read are Dark Tower books. Um, but yeah, looking forward to, to Black House. I really like the Silas Man. I mean, this is a this is a chunker. This is over 800 pages, but hopefully it will be a fun read. The next one is a bit of a funny one in that I'm not sure if I've actually read this or not. I've got a feeling I have read it, but I can't remember anything about it at all. Um, so I am going to reread it. Uh, so that is From a Buick 8. Um, I think it's not considered to be one of his best books. Um, and as I say, I, I've got a feeling I've read it, but I don't remember it, um, which would suggest it's not one of his best books. So I will reread that anyway. Um, next up, we get into uh, Dark Tower Territory. Um, so I've read the first four books of the Dark Tower series. And in fact, I've read some of them more than once. I think I've read the first, I probably I probably read all four of them actually at least twice. And The Gunslinger, I think I probably read three or four times because I read that when it first came out originally. Um, so anyway, I've got 
I've not got all of the remaining four, but I've got most of them. So I've got Wolves of the Keller, which is a, a big, big one. How long is that? That is nearly 800 pages. And I do enjoy the Dark Tower series. I like seeing King doing something a bit different. And I like his, uh, you know, the, the universe he's created it. So, so looking forward to this. And obviously there's the new TV adaptation coming soon as well, isn't there? Which looks like it could be good. Um, so anyway, there's that one. Next up we have... Um, Song of Susanna, which is book six, uh, and then The Dark Tower itself, which is book seven, which I, and I think everyone hated the end of The Dark Tower series, didn't they? Um, so please, no spoilers, but we'll, we'll see what I think of it when I get to it. Um, next then, uh, we have Lisa's story, which again, I think I started reading and DNF'd. Um, so yeah, we'll see what I think of this. Again, this is a copy uh, I've owned since new, and it's somewhat stained, um, by the by, the years sitting on my bookshelves doing nothing, being in the attic, being in the garage, it's been various places. So yeah, this edition came out in two thousand and seven. So I've owned this for sixteen years uh, and not got to it yet. Uh, next we have Jim McKee, um, which is I think probably came out only a couple of years after that. Yeah, two thousand and eight. This came out. Um, I think this is one that people quite like. Uh, I think it's less of a horror one. Um, more of a kind of thr uh, more of a kind of um, what's the word I'm looking for thoughtful thriller so we'll, we'll see what I think of Duma Key when I get to that next up a couple I don't have physical copies of um, so um, Win Through the Keyhole which I think is like a like a kind of dark tower side story isn't it um, and Gwendy's Final Task which he wrote with um, Richard Chismar. So I've read the first of the Gwendy books. So three books, so far as I can tell, there's three books in the Gwendy series. The first one is Gwendy's Button Box, which was written by King and Chismar. And I've read that uh, and I thought it was uh, I thought it was good. Um, I really liked it. I haven't read the second one, but I do have a copy of it on my Kindle. That one is just by Richard Chismar. So I will read that before I read this one, the third in the series, which is by Chismar and King, Gwendy's Final Task. Uh, and then finally... Um, getting us uh, up to date, uh, we have Fairy Tale, which I got as a gift from my parents last Christmas. Um, so this one yeah, came out in 22. Um, again, I think people didn't love this one, um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to trying it anyway. I, I did quite like, uh, what was the other fancy one he did? Eyes of the Dragon, I thought it was quite fun. So we'll see what I think of this. And I do quite like the cover of this. I don't always like the UK covers of things, um, but I do think that's quite a nice one. So yes, a new project for the channel and a lot of pages to get through. So I'm not going to set myself a time limit for it, but I'll probably try and read one a month. Um, so yeah, let me know um, what your favourites are out of the books I've talked about. Um, let me know which ones you think I'll enjoy and if there are any you think I won't enjoy. Um, and as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're safe and well out there. I hope you're really good stuff and I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.